Hey guys, Scythe here. A lot of people have been asking me uh, as far as how I upload my videos and what I use to edit my videos. So I thought today I'd go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek and a little easy tutorial on uh, what I do and how I edit my videos. Uh, so basically, if you look at the top of the screen here, I actually use Final Cut Pro. Uh, not, a lot of people don't really use it. I love the program, uh, one being because I have a, a Mac and I do have a PC coming so I'll be able to do some videos on that as well but for today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I work with Final Cut Pro now if you guys have things like Adobe or say Sony Vegas things like that if you go to my home page on my channel there's a guy named the confound it he's probably one of the biggest pros in the industry now as far as video editing uh, picture editing website design things like that and I defer to him for almost everything that I do. And in fact, there's a lot of things on here that I learned just through him. So if you want to check him out on some of the videos that he has, tutorials that he has on video editing and uh, how to make channel backgrounds and some speed arts that he does, uh, it, it's really informative. And the guy is really good at what he does. But for right now, if you guys uh, do have Final Cut Pro or if you guys are thinking about getting it, it's about $400. Um, I know it seems a little expensive. I know there's a lot of kids on here that want to do video commentary themselves, and four hundred dollars is very expensive, but it's a very good investment. Because um, I know Adobe can go up to like a thousand dollars, Sony Vegas can go up to about a thousand dollars. So this is a really good program, and Apple really did make this very user friendly. Um, and, and what I'm going to show you guys here is going to be a very quick way to how to um, add an intro to your video, put some uh, audio commentary, and then break right after you're done with it being able to just go over your work and then just send it right into uh, YouTube so basically what I like to do is uh, I keep all my clips that I upload and things I do right up here in this this screen right here and the one thing that I don't do as much as I should which you guys need to do um, is you always want to uh, label your work and I don't for a lot of videos like up here like where it says whiny baby and three warthogs what I did in black ops 2 you know things like I, I labeled but a lot of them like segment ones I have a lot of segment ones because I didn't label it so one of the things that the confounded always taught me was you know prepare your work and organize your work so uh, I always suggest labeling these and I'll show you how to label them in a little while but uh, for now what I like to do is I always have my intro for machinima right here and my wonderful sponsors who have given me this wonderful day what I like to do is uh, all you gotta do everything is very just drag and go so like right here for example this is my uh, intro I'm gonna drag and go there it is. it's right there this area right here is where all your editing is gonna happen where all the magic happens and right there is already my intro now I've already gotten the file that I want the gameplay that I want to selected to put in so I'm just gonna move this right here and this is my uh, game capture HD uh, file area so basically uh, all the videos I use for my game capture HD uh, are in this little file and well, I, I then delete them but just say for example this is the last video that I did now back when I said you want to label your work and the stuff that confound had always taught me I didn't do it here I labeled the videos battlefield 3 and I never changed the title I you should change them every time you do different gameplays because that way you know which video it is so it's really frustrating for me because I never change it but basically this is the video I've already selected that I want to uh, edit it's already on my channel as it is it's a, actually a Black Ops 2 video so basically when you have the video just like you did with the uh, intro you can just take it drag it and it's right on the screen so now we'll get rid of it we'll get rid of the menu here we'll move Final Cut Pro up back in the beginning here so now we've got I mean th this is I think this is a great program because now you've already got the intro, you've got the gameplay. Now all we gotta do is a little bit of editing and you know tweaking to make sure it's a really good uh, video for all the fans and for all your fans and for all your friends and family or whoever. Because this doesn't have to be a video gameplay. This could be like a home video, or this could be you guys making a TV show for school or for college, or a video for your uh, parents when you know whatever the case may be. Or maybe you're sending a zebra a documentary on antelopes that have uh, intercourse. I don't know, but you can actually edit all this video right here and there's a lot of parts like right here it's just the waiting room now as you see my mouse scrolling it goes through the actual gameplay what I suggest doing and I've already seen this video so that's why I'm not gonna do it is hitting this play button up here taking your uh, marker all the way to the beginning 
and hitting the play button. Let me turn the volume down. But this already uh, starts. I, what you want to do is you want to go through the video one good time, so have an idea of what you want to cut out. So like right here, I already know that I want to cut out this little waiting room area stuff that's going on, because there's nothing, there's no gameplay, there's nothing interesting for anybody to watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait right here next to this pause button. Now when the the, the part that I want to start the video at comes up, I'm going to hit pause, and then I'm going to cut that whole part I just watched out. So. Right there, where Hydro, the name of the map, pops up. This is where I want to start my video. So you want to go up to here to your uh, mouse tools, and basically right now I'm using Select, where I can select things and things like that. They have Trim, Position, Range Selection, Blade, Zoom, Hand, and these all do different functions, and I'll get into them in a different video, but for right now, I like to use Blade for a lot of my editing, because I can just cut the clip. So basically, I'm going to get my blade, and look at the little razor blade right here on my computer screen, a little red razor, laser blade, yeah, razor blade, I can't talk. So I want to take this to the little line that I'm at, and I all I got to do is click on it, and I've separated it. So now I want to go back to my pointer, and now I've got two different clips. So now, if this right here, I just don't want it anymore, hit the delete button, it's gone. Now if you want to keep your video classy and you want to keep your video a little bit more professional, like you can always add cross dissolves every time there's two breaks in the clip here. So they've got the intro clip, I've got the gameplay clip. Now instead of having it go right into the video, maybe I want to add a cross dissolve. Now what a cross dissolve does is it actually shows a transition into the video, like it looks a little more professional. So let's just find a part of the clip where I die. So I'm going to get the blade out. I'm going to get the blade out here, find a part right. Okay, so I die right here. So he comes up, I shoot him, I die. So I'm just going to wait till right, right here. I hit the razor blade, or I mean razor blade. And now I'm just going to scroll until I'm alive again. So like right here. So now I have this little clip right here that I don't want. Hit the delete button. Now, like I said before, you can add a cross dissolve. So instead of the video just jumping to the next, you can hit pause, click right on the edge of the video, right there. See that little border's highlighted? Now you just go up to edit, and then add cross dissolve. Now it'll show a good transition. So now if we look at the video again, Let's see how it transitions into the next clip. See? It's a lot better than the clip just jumping. So now, let's just say that we've gone through the whole video. For the sake of time, I'm not going to go through the whole video. In fact, this video is already up on YouTube, as it is. But for the sake of time, we're going to say the, vi the video has already been clipped. All the parts that I want clipped are done. Okay, I've gone through everything. Everything is already done. So now what I want to do is maybe I want some video commentary. Okay? So in order to add video commentary, uh, once again, Final Cut Pro makes it a lot easier to just start doing commentary on videos. So basically you want to take your cursor to where you want the video commentary to start. So not really on the machinima part, but we'll just say right there. Now if you go up to Window and hit Record Audio, now it is recording, testing, testing, testing. It's now recording, well it's not recording right now, but now it's ready to record the audio uh, and it'll actually play the video as the audio is recording. So that way I can do, you know, basically live commentary of what's going on during the video game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example. So I'm going to mute the computer so that we don't hear the gameplay. And you want to mute that because what happens is the microphone, like my blue sewn ball, if you don't mute the screen, it'll play the gameplay and your commentary. So when you play the video again, it'll have two different audios of the gameplay and it messes it all up. So basically, I'm ready to record. So all I got to do is hit the record button and let's try this out, okay? Hey there, how is it going? This is a video commentary. And I'm doing this for my fans who I'm doing a Final Cut Pro tutorial on. And my elbow itches because a zebra is licking it. I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. All right. Now, not, not my best commentary, and pretty much my shortest, 
but you guys got to get the picture. So now if you go down here at the bottom of the screen, here's the commentary. Okay? So now if I want to go back and make sure I sounded okay, I'm going to turn the volume back on. And I'll hit play again, and let's see how it came out. Hey there, how's it going? This is a video commentary, and I'm doing this for my fans who I'm doing a Final Cut Pro tutorial on. And my elbow itches because a zebra is licking it. I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Okay, so it came out pretty good. So now, let's say your gameplay is pretty loud though. So, you know, when you're playing Call of Duty or if you're recording anything in the background or maybe the volume of the actual video needs to be a little bit lower, uh, Final Cut Pro, again, makes another thing easy. So if we go right here to the bars, you can actually lower and raise the volume. Now, once you separate clips, of course, you're going to have to go back and make sure it's the exact same volume. So what I suggest doing is automatically getting a volume that you're already used to and changing it before you start you know like cutting clips because every time you cut a clip you're gonna have to adjust each clips volume but you can adjust the volume to lower the gameplay and then you can also you know raise the commentary now let's just say and this is not you know at all as long as I take to edit a video let's just say I'm all done now I've got the commentary right here I've got my video editing I've got my uh, intro right here so basically I want to make it all one big clip so what I want to do is basically you want to highlight all of your stuff by hitting the shift key you know just like when you highlight more than one thing and you right click and you can make a new compound clip and basically this is where I always keep screwing up and leaving segment one and project one everywhere I'm gonna go ahead and label this final X cut cut pro video or video there we go video so I hit okay and now it's one video called Final Cut Pro video now all I gotta do is put it on YouTube which Final Cut Pro makes this easy as well because if you go right over here and again there's a lot more options here by the way if you guys have questions or want to see other videos as far as far as what else we can do here about enhancing the audio and things like that adding menus and adding title screens and adding photos into the videos uh, let me know in the comments and I can definitely do a video on that but for now this is just a really quick way to uh, edit gameplay for like video gameplay and getting it on YouTube so basically you want to go right to this arrow right here and it gives you all the options and of course right here it's already got my YouTube channel logged in because I can, if I click on it, I automatically uh, log into my YouTube channel because uh, before I start this, uh, when I first got Final Cut Pro, I synced it up to my YouTube channel. So now every time that I go to YouTube, it'll automatically go to my uh, actual channel. But you can also upload here to different options, straight to Facebook, an Apple device. You can add a destination, which means you can email it to somebody, put it on a DVD, things like that. And you're done at that point. Now what I suggest doing when you upload to YouTube is actually setting it to private. The reason why I say setting it to private is very important is because you want to make sure that you check over your video and that's the best quality you can make it and that the volume isn't too distorted before you make it public. And another reason is that while you have the screen up right here, it's good to upload the video check the video on YouTube and if there's any changes you need to make you already have everything right here and you can also just right click or I'm sorry I'm I apologize go up to edit go up to edit right here undo new compound clip and it breaks everything back up to where it was originally so you can change something so I guys I hope you guys enjoyed this I guys I hope you you know got a little bit of info and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed a little bit of a real simple tutorial on editing video on Final Cut Pro. Um, if you guys want some uh, more info um, on Final Cut Pro, uh, let me know in the description exactly what else you'd like to know or uh, some of the other features that I use on here. Um, there's a lot more that I use, but this is just a basic uh, rundown, a real quick rundown of how I uh, upload a video. And if you guys don't use Final Cut Pro, if you guys use any other programs on PC, I definitely suggest uh, checking the Confound It out and again he's on my homepage his link to his channel is on my homepage and I will link his channel in the description of this video and if you guys haven't already click that subscribe button here it really does help me out a lot and hope you guys have a great weekend talk to you later peace out